Cody here with Kindle the Fire and for today's video we're going to go ahead and do what is the first part of what might end up being a multi-part video on how to sharpen your different chopping cutting tools for out on the trail. The cutting implements that I have laid out on this blanket here as well as the sharpening tools are everything that I brought with me into the van. My wife and I recently moved into a van. We're going to be in there at least till September. We'll see how van life goes. So these are what I had to limit myself to based off the space. For this video, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to show you how to sharpen your knife with a basic whetstone. Uh, various sizes. I actually have one here in this little oil tan pouch. This is a nice one I picked up. We're going to show you how to go ahead and sharpen a knife using whetstones. So obviously there's many ways to sharpen a knife using a whetstone. I'm just going to show you the quick and dirty way that I know how and then an alternative way. Um, whetstones can be expensive, they can be inexpensive, just depends on where you get them and what condition they're in. This one right here, um, I picked this one, this larger one up, um, that has about a medium, uh, medium to fine grit. I picked this up at an old antique store for about five dollars. It still had tons of life left in it and everything and I liked how wide the edges were. So this would be a good one that I could set into a piece of wood and have as an actual long block if I was going to be in camp longer than a night. This one here is actually a combination of two different whetstones of two different grits. I've got the uh, the harder side and the softer side here. I got the one that had the fish hook as well. And then I just super glued on a piece of leather strop on the side just for that added extra edge. So the way that I normally like to go about it for quick and dirty purposes looks gross for a lot of people. Honestly, just get some good spit on the stone, kind of rub it around. And then I start at the tip, size my angle, because I can't be flat and I can't be really up. You have to pay attention to your knife, pay attention to your angle. You'll kind of feel your knife kind of rock onto the angle, and that's where you need to be. Once I'm at my angle, I go tip down and away from myself, like that. And then I flip and I do the other side like that. A lot of guys will go 10 on one side, 10 on the other, but if you have decent enough knife control, then you can actually hit both sides just fine. You can hear it kind of sing as it goes. Now all that spit is doing is just lubricating, and you can kind of see that there's a bit of a film that builds up, a dark film that builds up on the stone. That film is actually small pieces of your knife's edge coming off. Those little burrs are actually coming off the knife edge. Now, if you don't want to do the quick and dirty spit method, what you can do is if you have a bowl, you can actually fill some water into your bowl right here. Take it out, wet the stone if you're on a flat surface. If your bowl is large enough, you can actually soak your stone in there until it's not taking in more water. But you want to wet your stone until it looks like your water is not going away. And then you use both hands. I usually place the thumb on the tip of the knife. Again, same direction. Get my angle right. Go point to back. Like that. But then, with this method, you do have to switch hands. And in this method, I would count, you know, 20 strokes one side, 20 strokes the other side, then 19, 19, 18, 18, 17, 17, 16, 16, so on and so forth all the way down until you're at one strokes. Do one strokes for a while and then use a leather strop, which you can use just the back of your belt, the, the smooth side of the belt, or you can use a piece of strop like I have here and you do the exact same thing where you go tip to handle or tip to back and you just keep your same angle and you strop with it. And after you do that, that's going to give your knife that nice shine on the edge. And usually you can kind of look down the edge and take your thumbnail and just caress the edge of the knife. And you'll feel if there's any nicks. And if there's any nicks, you keep going back to the stone. You keep getting them out. Um, if you have different various coarse grits of your stones, so a finer one versus a harder one, and everything I'd use the you know your tougher one your harder one until you don't feel any nicks then move up in the grades as they get finer and finer 
Now the reason that I generally go away from me when I'm sharpening versus towards me and trying to take off metal that way is because when I look at a knife blade and everything, I want the edge to be, you know, like this. And when you have burrs and nicks in your knife and it's getting dull, you have these like rollouts like that. Now I don't want to come down on one of these rollouts and everything and simply take off all of that material. No, I want to realign that material and get it back to where it's supposed to be. That's going to prolong the life of my knife and it's going to prolong the edge of my knife. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video. I hope uh, for some of you it gave you an idea of how to sharpen using sharpening stones. If you'd like to see more, comment please. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, like the video, that usually helps it out. Um, I'd like to do more of these and kind of show you guys how to go ahead with sharpening tomahawks, kukris, throwing knives, pocket knives. Yeah, even the crook knife and the awl are good ones to show you guys how to sharpen. So please, go ahead, feel free, let me know. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.